In the last couple of videos, I've been trying out Mistral 7B's function calling feature with Alama, and I think it's fair to say it hasn't worked all that well. I'm kind of determined to see if we can get this to work though. So in this video, we're going to swap out Alama for Llama CPP. Llama CPP lets us do inference on LLMs, and it's actually used by Alama. It's designed for running LLMs on commodity hardware, and it's mostly for LLMs in GGUF format. GGUF is a binary format designed for fast saving and loading of models. Let's go to the Hugging Face Models page. We'll click on Libraries and then GGUF and we'll search for Mistral 7B v3. And you can see at the top there, Mazia Panahi has already created a model in this format for us. We're going to use HF Downloader to download this model. We'll use the minus F filter, which means we're going to use a file filter and then minus M for the model name. So we'll pass it our model name and then colon and then the filter. So we're going to use the four bit quantized model. And you can see that's already downloaded on my machine. But if you run it, it will download it onto yours as well. And then it will come into the downloads folder and you can see where the GGUF file lives in there. We then need to install Llama CPP Python. So when you're using a Mac, you need to make sure you've got this CMake args configured. And then we're going to load IPython. We'll import Llama from Llama CPP. We'll also in import the rich console. Now we're going to define the location of our model and then we'll initialize it with Llama, making sure we pass in a chat format of chatml hyphen function hyphen calling. Let's now define our system message. Then we're going to define a function called askllm. It's going to take in a question, a functions, and tool choice. We'll call create chat completion on the LLM. We'll pass in the messages. We'll define the tools and then we need to specify a tool choice as well, which restricts us to a single function in reality. Now we're going to import the function. So it's going to be weather and then let's have a quick look at it. So you can see we've got a function called get current weather and it's going to take in a latitude and a longitude. So we're going to rely on the LLM to go from a place name to a latitude and longitude and then give us back the function call for that. So let's call the LLM. We're going to say what's the weather like in Mauritius. So that's our place. The functions that needs to be an array. So we'll pass in weather and then we're going to tell it the tool choices get current weather. And then we'll run that and it's because it's the first time it takes a little bit longer and you can see it's about five seconds it's taken to do that. We can have a look at the response. You can see it's quite a lot of stuff. If we scroll down a little bit, tool calls is the bit that we're interested in. And then we can call that directly. So it's responses, choices, get the first value, message, and then tool calls. And you can see it comes back with the latitude and longitude for Mauritius. I've checked this on a map and as you can see there, it's done a pretty good job of putting a point directly in the middle of Mauritius. Now we're going to run the model a bunch of times. So let's just turn off the verbosity of the model. And then we're going to iterate through 20 times. We'll capture the start time. We'll call that ask LLM function. We'll capture the end time. We'll print out the tool calls. And you can see it kind of goes through, sort of printing it out. And then that takes a little bit of time. So we're going to speed this up. And then at the end, let's have a look at the timing. So we'll import statistics and NumPy. We'll get the minimum, the mean, the median, the 90th percentile, and then the maximum timing. And you can see it comes back. And it's more or less taking about one and a half seconds each time. You can see we've got a 5.26 down there at the end. That was the, for the initial loading. But after it's loaded, it's going to be reasonably quick. We can also run Llama CPP as an open AI API compatible server and do function calling with the open AI library instead. So if we want to do that, we need to install the server and then we need to launch it, passing in the model name. The number of GPU layers, so I've just set this to minus one, so use as many as you can. And then the chat format as well. And then you can see it's running on my machine on port 8000. We'll then come back to IPython, we'll import OpenAI, we'll initialize our OpenAI client. And then we're going to have a look this time at a slightly different thing. So we're going to import pandas and we're going to have a look at some reviews, book reviews. Uh, and so if we have a look at those, you can see we've got a various uh, opinions of the, of the same book. Let's import a different function this time. So this one's called sentiment. Let's have a look at that. So you can see this time it's going to say get the sentiment for some reviews. It's going to give me back an array with the sentiment and a sentiment score for each of the reviews. So it's a slightly more complicated structure than what we did with the weather function. We'll then define our questions. So we're going to have the reviews at the top and then we're going to say analyze the sentiment of the reviews above. We'll define our messages. Okay, then we'll iterate 20 times. We're going to capture the start time. 
we'll call the completions.create function. The model doesn't need, needs to be there, but it can be anything. We'll pass in the messages. Our tools is sentiment, tool choice, extract sentiment, capture the end time, and then print out the tool calls and how long it took. And you can see it kind of iterates through each time. I'm not sure how good the actual sentiment it's extracted is, but it is doing it and it's taking about three seconds uh, on average. So this will actually take a minute. So we'll speed this up for the purpose of the video. So function calling, as you can see, only returns the function to call along with the appropriate parameters. If you want to see what to do after that, check out this video up here.